Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and some glory and honor to take a hour by Shem and have a shot by Hashem. Double honors to the elders of Possum Spring Millstone, which will be true for this season. And shalom to the Haki, who's gathered the four kings of the globe, which is where it is necessary. And shalom to the Haki, who's gathered the four kings of the globe, which will be true for this season. And shalom to the Haki, that be like a suspect bird. Push the word, which will be necessary. I say shalom to the Haki out there. And this is a, another quick sit down lesson on this. Uh, May the 20th, 2022, at 9 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time on this Friday night. Uh, man, it's lock here. <laughs> That's my cat. <laughs> but yeah, um, so the title of the sit down lesson is going to be, um, You know, the Heavenly Father is going to send plagues upon the world, you know. And this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 5, and it reads, in verse 5 in the book of 2nd uh, Ezra, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plague upon the world, the sword, famine, uh, death and destruction and that's what we are seeing right now with these increase of uh, plagues uh, around the world you know these increase of famines you know and I did a video on this uh, previously as well too now you got this case of uh, smallpox increasing I believe it was cases in uh, Portugal Israel the United States and parts of Europe I believe as well too so that's the Heavenly Father, you know, sending these plagues upon the world, just like he did in ancient Egypt. And he doing it uh, around the world, modern day today. And he's sending plagues on the new modern day Egypt, you know, which is the daughter of Babylon, according to the Holy Scriptures, you know. Uh, the modern day Roman Empire, which is the Northern Hemisphere, you know, which is North America, you know. Because you look at the, uh, like, museums, the uh, court system, you look at the uh, front of the uh, justice system, it, it just, like, it looks just like the same structure of, of Rome, of Rome back then, you know, like the modern-day Roman Empire, you know, uh, modern-day Egypt, you know, because you look at, on the back of the dollar bill with the pyramid and stuff like that. Yeah, she had one through the window already. <laughs> no, she climbed through that window. Hey, Layla. Now she climbed through the window. <laughs> Salakia, it was my little niece and my uh, brother. So, yeah, you know, back to what I was saying, you know, hey, we are in the modern day Roman Empire and modern day Egypt, which is. The Northern Hemisphere, you know, uh, Babylon the Great, the modern day Babylon the Great, you know, according to the Holy Scriptures. That's why the Heavenly Father is sending plagues upon this place, you know. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 4 For all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness, right? Especially the Israelites that's of this world, you know. Hey, you're going to get caught up in these plagues that the Heavenly Father is sent two-thirds of Israel for not hearkening back into the verse of the Lord thy God to observe and do all his commandments, you know. And he, that's, even though he's uh, sending plagues on the whole world as well, too, including all these other nations, you know, even his own people as well, too, you know, because the Heavenly Father's uh, people, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speck of Israelites as well, too. You know, the Heavenly Father's going to send plagues on y'all as well, too. If, you know, you don't come back and repent, you know, come back to the law, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father. You know, acknowledge that you are Israelite. Like the book of Romans 13, 11 said, for now it's high time to wake out of sleep. You know, for now it's salvation near to believe. You know, uh, like scripture says, or if you paraphrase, they might have the zeal 
but not according to the knowledge of uh, Yahweh Shemel Shah, you know, according to these holy scriptures, the right, uh, correct way, you know, the, the true correct doctrine is this gospel, uh, the breaking down of the scriptures the right way, you know, and speaking it out as the right way and reading it the right way, you know. And that's the men of the Lord, the true servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Yahushai, you know. And that's why the, uh, the Heavenly Father's people shall get judgment, you know. Like Scripture says, 2 Andrew 15 and verse 4. I, I dropped down the verse because I was on verse 5 in the book of 2 Andrew 15 and 5. And now I dropped down to verse, uh, verse 4, you know. And I'm reading it again. For all the unfaithful right the unfaithful of the people of this world the unfaithful of the Israelites of this world because uh, one third of women is, uh, of Israel is going to be saved which is the elect the elect man of Yahshua he is the prince of power which is the man of the Lord the sons of Jacob that bloodline goes back to Abraham Isaac and Jacob which later turned to Israel you know, we're the sons of Jacob, which is the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American man. And the speckled bird is a wise man that's scattered through four corners of the earth, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely with meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you know. The one-third remnant of his people going to be saved, and two-thirds of Israel is going to be cut off for their unfaithfulness, you know. They shed undie in their unfaithfulness because they uh, trusting in this system and not coming back to them being an Israelite, you know. And uh, I'm bring out this news article, but you know that's a not a topic at hand. But my main focus is of uh, the Heavenly Father's burning plagues upon this world. You know, that's why you're seeing these uh, cases of uh, smallpox increasing. You know, now this is a, a first case in New York, I believe. You know, at first it was in one. Uh, because I believe it was a person that was traveling and then he came back to the United States and then for some reason it had, it, it had spread, you know, like I mentioned in those places in those different countries like the United States, uh, Portugal, in Israel and many, and many other countries as well too. I forgot the name of them, you know, but this is a news article right here, you know, it says, uh, this is from, uh, MS, M NBC News, I meant to say, dot com, um, uh, it says, the highlight of this news article, it reads, second person test positive for monkeypox in the United States, the person from New York is isolating after showing symptoms of the virus, the health official said. It says a second person in the United States has tested positive for monkeypox Friday, days after the, right, yeah, yep, yeah. right, the first person that was in Massachusetts, yeah, that's what I was trying to bring out, yeah, yeah, a second person in the United States tested positive, uh, tested positive for monkeypox Friday, days after the country's first case was Identified in Massachusetts, officials say health officials in New York City said the person tests positive for the rare but potentially serious virus typically seen in Central and Western Africa. The cases have not yet been confirmed by the uh, Centers for Disease Control and Pre Prevention, I meant to say by the person believed to have contact the virus is isolated after showing symptoms of consisting with the disease the state health department says the department did not say how the person from new york city may have caught the uh the v word which have recently been reported in europe australia and now north america the disease experts of the University of California, Los Angeles, caused the outbreak the most important in the history of monkeypox in the Western Hemisphere. 
uh, the second suspected case in New York City was ruled out. Department says, exit that out, Slocky. Uh, in a statement, the, the state health commissioner said the risk to the public was low, but said alerted health care providers to the case so that they can consider the unusual di diagnosis if there's patients present with symptoms of it. It says um, the the illness is typically beginning with a flu-like symptoms that progresses into a rash. The uh, version of the V word that appears in Central Africa is the most lethal, with a fatality rate of 10 percent. Uh, One percent of the people who con contract the West African V word has died. The monkeypox can be spread by animals and through person-to-person -person contact. It says disease experts are trying to determine how the V word is spread and the origin of the current outbreak. So yeah, you know, that's the Heavenly Father sending those plagues, man. You know, as I read in the book of Second Ezra 15 to 5, and I'm going to read it again for edification's sake. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what we're seeing right now in these times, you know, the Heavenly Father sending those heavy plagues, you know. And it's going to furthermore increase, increase. As I guess this is a new development of this outbreak, you know. I believe they said they, uh, this is the second case that's been reported in the United States. So, you know. So, yeah, you know. Uh, first, it was reported in Massachusetts. Now they got a second case of a person having symptoms of it. And he's uh, being isolated in the hospital, I, most likely, I believe. So, yeah, that's the Heavenly Father sending those plagues, man. It's going to further more increase. <laughs> yeah, he left already. Yeah, he gone. Yeah, he gone already, man. Right. He tried to dip all the way. What the heck? Hey, where are you? Do you have some questions? <laughs> she's trying to play it off slick, <laughs> slick with it. <laughs> you ain't going out there, Kiki. Do it for your lawn. Do it for your garden. Do it for your family. Do it for your dog. for the interruption. Okay, trying to go outside. But yeah, you know what I was saying, you know, ain't having father. Hey, he's sending those plagues, man. This is going to further increase more and more and more in the last days, you know. As the as I was going into that uh, second edge was 15 verse 5 and I was reading verse 4 as well too you know yeah you how about your mouth shots in those plays man it's going to further increase and on top of that the uh, code word 19 never know those cases might go back up as well too you know, ain't no telling you know because you about your mouth shy he's definitely sending those plagues and I mentioned this before uh, in previous videos about, you know, 
Oh yeah, can't forget about the hepatitis, hepatitis C, with those cases going on over there, and the H1 bird flu, those cases as well too. So hey, those those plagues that the Heavenly Father sent me is gonna further increase more and more and more. You know, with that hepatitis C and, and ch the children that had it, the cases were uh, going up over there in uh, Portland, in the West Coast region. You know, over there in Seattle as well too. I wouldn't be surprised if cases starting to uh, spread through the United States, you know, along with this uh, monkeypox virus as well, too. I mean, not, you know, slack yeah, but I ain't trying to get no, uh, uh, what you call it? I'm not trying to get no copyright on my, uh, on my channel, you know. Yeah, because you got to speak in codes because you know how Esau is, you know. But yeah, you know, that's the heavy father sending these plagues on, on the earth, you know, and it's going to furthermore increase. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to you. To Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great men, stone, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom and a ball, ball, ball.